So let's do that same thing. So for that, we need to do some validation. So when someone click on this button, we have to check whether the user have entered any URL or they just press the button on without entering anything. So we need to do that validation. So to do that, let's give our button an ID. I'm giving an ID of image URL. So every time someone clicks on this button, you can trigger this function automatically. So let's go and refresh the page and see if this is working. So when I click on this one, it shows me an, er an alert that hey you click the button so that means it's working well so now this part is pretty done and now we have to read the value inside this input field so let's say give this ID as a image URL or underscore source or you can even give the name image underscore URL underscore source you can use you can use either ID or the name just for the time being I'm giving I'm keeping everything using the ID to avoid the confusion so let's go back to this place and now we have to find the image URL input so let's say it, let's take a variable called image URL input and then we call this function this jQuery ID and we get the val value inside of it and then we alert all right so let's see if this is really working it's print it's alerting nothing let's say test alert perfect so whenever someone in, enters the, the text in this input field and click on this one so we are getting some alert so let's see if the user try to click on the button without typing or entering anything so for that we just need to use a small if else condition if dot length is less than one alert hey you need to enter something if everything is okay if the URL input is more than one we also need to put the function called trim to get rid of the white spaces because the user can just enter the space and try to click on the button if everything is okay we just have to call this function and from here instead of passing the source in the last type in the last method we just need to pass the value from this that is image URL dot trim so let's see if this is working now if I try to click on this button without entering anything it says hey you need to enter something all right so you, you can just add the trim function right here or you can just go for a quick search on the Google jQuery trim spaces so it's just the jQuery string so it's just the some jQuery statement in the beginning and we call the trim function at the end just like this so with that all the white spaces ex all that extra white spaces in the beginning and the end are cleared by this function so now we just need to focus on the actual value so I'm just keeping this code a little bit efficient by using else condition to be the default one I assume all the users that are going to enter something in this project really in need of doing something 
I assume all the users that are doing this project will add an, an actual URL in this input field. So I, I want to keep the default case in an else condition. So for the if condition, if my in image input is not zero or not equals one or greater than one, I'll just call this function and add the value, add the card to the body.